That was a close one. Find the toy mouse and give it to Yuri, would you please? Otherwise, he'll just keep meowing. He hates strangers. How nice of you to drop by, and thank you for walking instead of parking in the driveway. I'm expecting a pupil I'd hate for her to have to park on the road. How did you know who I was? If one is to teach others how to develop and use their paranormal gifts, it's only logical that one must possess such gifts oneself. Does that mean you can read minds or tell the future or what exactly? The paranormal includes telepathy or communicating by sending and receiving thoughts, extrasensory perception or perceiving that which cannot physically be seen or heard, and psychokinesis, using one's psychic energy to reshape or move objects. When I walked in just now, it looked like you were in a trance or something. I was in the process of trying to make these spoons move by using nothing but my own psychic energy. Have you ever focused sunlight through a magnifying glass until it was a minute yet searing point of light, Miss Drew? Uh, yeah, I guess. You see, that's what I do with my cerebral emanations, my thoughts. I focus them until they're a beam of pure energy which ultimately disrupts and transforms the molecular force field surrounding the target object. Is that what you teach people in your school? How to beam their thoughts? I take them through exercises designed to help them increase their output of phantasmic energy. If you want to sign up for an introductory session, I believe I have an opening today. What I'd really like to do is talk about Josiah Crowley. Oh. I'm afraid I'm busy, young lady. Far too busy to engage in idle conversation. You're not trying to hide something, are you, Mr. Topham? I'll be blunt, Miss Drew. I've discovered that the more time I spend with the, uh, shall we say, intellectually unendowed, 
The more my cerebral pulsation seemed to diminish, I'm afraid I cannot speak to you further unless and until you prove that you are worthy. That is, that your brain waves are not unacceptably inferior and thus deleterious to mine. My brain waves are just fine, Mr. Topham. What I have here is an exercise in logic. If you can discern the correct solution, then I'll know that conversing with you will do me no psychic harm. You may take it with you. Good luck and good day. I'm getting there. That looks right. Am I smart or what? Am I smart or what? That looks right. Am I to assume that you have the correct solution to that logic problem? Right here. Let's have a look. <laughs> Why, you appear to have indeed found the solution. Well, since you've proved yourself to be intellectually above average, which means talking to you should do me no harm, what would you like to talk about? When and how did you meet Josiah Crowley? Last summer, while on my way to the university for a conference, I stopped for a bite at the Lilac Inn. Since it was crowded and I was in a hurry, I agreed to share a table with an elderly gentleman who, like me, was by himself. As soon as I told Mr. Crowley who I was and what I did, well, he insisted that I give him a training session that very afternoon and was so thrilled with his progress that he demanded I stay and teach him everything I knew. So it was his idea that you set up your school in his house? Oh, I know rumor has it that I somehow tricked him into it, that I insinuated my way into his home, but I assure you that was not the case. Were you surprised when you found out that Josiah had left you everything? Delighted, yes. Surprised, not really. Josiah was all alone, you see, surrounded by people like the Crandalls and that banker, Jim Archer. People who were nice to him only because they knew he had money.
What's in the carriage house that's out back? Do you know? That was Josiah's workshop. I assume it contains even more detritus. Did you hear about the explosion and fire at the Lilac Inn this morning? I heard the explosion and fire. Ruined my nine o'clock session. So you were with a customer when it happened? Pupil. I was with a pupil. I run a school, not a vegetable stand. And yes, I was. Until I dismissed her twenty minutes early. All the ruckus made concentration impossible. Do you eat at the inn very often? Not anymore. You see, the fact that Josiah left everything to me made some people around here, including Emily and now this Jane Willoughby, very bitter. It hurts me, of course, but it's human nature, I suppose. Would it be okay if I looked around? Go right ahead. The place is more like a museum than a house. Josiah was a man of many, many interests. I'll be right here if you have any questions. The man on stage in this picture, is that Josiah? Yes, that's from a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream that he directed and starred in. It closed after two nights, but he didn't care. He loved that play. As you'll soon realize, Josiah's mental faculties were starting to go, I'm afraid. He tended to ramble. Very little of what he wrote in there makes sense. 
What are you when you win Bard Bounce? What poet is the cat's meow? What will para my miniature golf course get you? What's Gloria's middle name? Decoder is in the rivet. Two to the right. It looks like Josiah lent a trivet to someone, but I can't make out to whom. What do you do with these? I put them on the windshields of cars parked in the area. Great advertising. Ever put them on cars at the Lilac Inn? All the time. I've gotten quite a few pupils that way. I'm afraid that fire today was as unfortunate for me as it was for Miss Crandall. Was this Josiah's clock? Everything in here was Josiah's. What this mirror is doing in here?
That room is off limits, I'm afraid. Miniature golf course, swell! Hit it too hard. I hit it too hard.
I hit it too hard. Oh, horse feathers. Looks like I'm supposed to put my scorecard in here when I'm done. Looks like I'm supposed to put my scorecard in here when I'm done. That was a close one. Got it. Looks like someone recently had a key appraised.
I saw before is gone. Uh. Hello, I'm looking for Jim Archer. Right through that door. Are you Nancy Drew? Yes. Are you Mr. Archer? Yes, ma'am. Jim Archer. I'm founder, president, manager, and just about everything else you can name when it comes to this fine enterprise. I hear that some businesses aren't doing so well these days. Ever since the stock market crashed, one business after another has closed, including banks. President Hoover keeps saying that a recovery is just around the corner, but you have to wonder. Some people say we're headed for a depression. Well, that kind of pessimism is not only misguided, it's pointless. Thinking ahead and taking action. That's what we businessmen should be doing right now. And I'm happy to report that we're doing just fine, thank you. Excuse me. Main Street Bank, Jim Archer speaking. No, I don't. I'm sorry, but... Yes, I know, but... All right, then just bring it by. Sorry for the interruption. How can I help you? How well do you know Jane Willoughby? You know, Emily's guardian? Not well at all. Met her once or twice. Seemed a little... Flighty. What was Emily's mom like? Had a good head on her shoulders. Friendly, too. Having a big slice of blueberry pie at the lilacan was always a real treat. It'd be nice if family could carry on the tradition, but times are just too tough. If she's smart, she'll sell before the bills start piling up. Do you happen to know whether the jewelry Emily inherited from her mother was insured? Well, I know for a fact that it was not. Why? Because someone snuck into the inn today and stole it. Oh, no. I heard there'd been a fire in the kitchen, but when it rains, it pours, doesn't it? I told Gloria not to let that policy lapse. Did Gloria always rely on you for business advice? Sometimes. You see, I have experience in the law as well as accounting. But in this case, she wouldn't listen to me. She felt that since Josiah Crowley would be leaving her a large sum of money when he died, or so she thought, paying to insure her jewelry just wasn't necessary. How well did you know Josiah Crowley? Well enough for him to name me executor of his will. An executor is the person who makes sure the terms of a will are carried out. Why do you think he wound up leaving Gloria nothing? I have no idea. Truth be told, he'd given me the impression that I would be well taken care of when he passed on, too. But when I finally read his will, it all went to top him. Where did Josiah keep his will? He'd hidden it in a chest of drawers in his house. It took me months to find it. When he named me executor, he said he'd tell me where it was hidden when the time was right. Whatever that meant. 
How did Josiah die? He was sitting in the public library reading when, apparently, his heart just decided it was time to stop. Did he go to the library a lot? First Thursday of every month. That's when the fan magazines would come in. Know what his favorite book was? The Makeup Secrets of Lon Chaney. The will you found in Josiah's house. Is it possible that Josiah didn't really write it? Well, the thought that it could be a forgery did cross my mind. But an expert verified that the will had been typed on Josiah's typewriter and signed in Josiah's hand. But Richard Topham lived in Josiah's house. He had access to his typewriter, and he could have copied his signature. As far as the law is concerned, the matter is closed, Miss Drew. But it's possible that Josiah's real will is still out there. Are you sure he never gave you any clue as to where he'd hidden his will? Whenever I asked him, he said he'd tell me when the time is right. Although, he got a safe deposit box here about three years ago. Has it been opened? Topham has tried to claim its contents, but he can't find the key. If Topham can't find the key, maybe it's because it wasn't in Josiah's house. Now, Miss Drew, I wouldn't go jumping to any conclusions. I guess I'll be going. Goodbye now. Don't you ever use this typewriter? That used to be Josiah Crowley's. It was the only thing he left me in his will. Naturally, it doesn't work. The keys always jam. October 9, 1929. Dear Mrs. Sheldon, here is the trivet I said you could borrow for your party at Twin Elms. Please take care of it because I will want it back someday. Your friend, Josiah C. I wonder if Josiah ever got his trip it back. Pickford is this lonely old woman who comes in here every once in a while. Took a shine to me for some reason. Insisted on giving me that picture. Where did you get this clock? Josiah Crowley gave it to me. It stopped keeping time the minute he walked out the door. That receipt I found outside the inn. I wonder if the key it refers to is the one to this clock. Is this your car? Yes, it is. Bought and paid for. 